back to another video. I'm Captain Friday, and today we're going to be exploring the entire story or incredible story of Apple and how it came out to be a $2 trillion company from the very beginning to the very end. That's what we're going to be exploring today. But before we start this video, please remember to subscribe, like, and share because that really means a lot to me, and I would really appreciate it if you could do that. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. I mean, there's so much to love about Apple, boasting over $2 trillion. It's no surprise that they hold the leading position in the technology industry. They produce everything from phones, tablets, laptops, computers, watches, earphones, TV services, editing softwares. I could literally go on forever. But how did this company become so popular and wealthy? To find this out, we're going to time travel all the way back to 1955. Jobs was born on February 24th, 1955 in San Francisco, California. He was born to two University of Wisconsin graduate students, Jindali and Chibel. Soon after, they gave their unnamed son up for adoption. But little did they know that he would turn out to be the future co-founder of one of the most powerful companies in the world. When Steve Jobs was only an infant, he was adopted by Clara and Paul Jobs and received the name Steve Jobs. Growing up, he used to work on electronics with his father inside his family garage. His father taught Jobs how to work with electronics, which tremendously grew Steve's mechanical skills. Although Steve was a very innovative and intelligent thinker, he was known as a prankster in his elementary school due to boredom. His teachers even had to bribe him to make him study. After his high schooling, he attended Reed College in Portland, Oregon. In 1974, Jobs received a job as a video game designer for Atari. He soon left the job for spiritual reasons. When Jobs was in high school, he was presented to his future partner, Steve Wozniak. Wozniak said how both of them had loved electronics so much. In 1976, Steve started Apple Computers in the Jobs family garage. Steve and Wozniak both sold some of their things, gaining them some money to start their business. Did you know Steve Jobs got the name Apple after returning from an apple farm? He thought that the name was fun, spirited, and not that intimidating. They created user-friendly computers selling right under 700 bucks. The Apple One earned the company $774 and soon received a whopping $139 million because of the Apple II. By 1980, the company had already had some $1.2 billion as their market value. In 1984, Apple released the all-new Macintosh. The computer was described as a romantic, youthful, and creative computer. Since Jobs didn't have an official title in the business, his executives would start to phase him out. Thus, Jobs left Apple in 1985. But Steve Jobs wouldn't give up. He soon created a software and hardware enterprise called Next. In 1986, Steve purchased Pixar Animation Studios from George Lucas. And believing that Pixar had some potential, he invested some $50 million into the company from his own pocket. In 1991, he married Lauren Powell and had three kids together. Sadly, Next was bought by Apple for a whopping $429 million. But the good news was that Steve returned to Apple as the official CEO of the company. This put Apple back on track, attracting numerous customers once again. In the coming years, Apple had announced the iPod, iPhone, MacBook Air, and the iMac. By 2008, Apple was the second biggest music retailer in America. Steve's net worth had reached all the way to $6.5 billion to $7 billion by 2011. Sadly, he passed away on October 5, 2011. A really nice quote from Steve was, Design is not just what it looks like and feels like. Design is how it works. Now, the company holds a whopping $2 trillion from the 1.5 billion iPhones and other products they have sold. Just recently, they have released the all-new iPhone 12 with some rumors about the iMac Silicon. That was the end of this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed my video. I hope you guys learned something new from this video. It was really fun to make and it was just an awesome video. And I hope you guys subscribe, like, and share this video. I hope you guys have an amazing day. See you guys later.